I think I'm a moral person. I can imagine someone in my position about seven or eight generations ago thinking that he was moral too. He loved his family, he was a good neighbor, he gave to the poor, he didn't kill anyone, he was polite to his slaves. No matter what, no matter how many flowers he picked and took to crippled orphans, he fucking owned someone. That's not moral, it's hideous. But during that time, perhaps, that society looked on him as a prime example of morality. Now we just can't get beyond that. That guy could have been one of my ancestors, but seriously, fuck him. Couldn't he see it was wrong to own slaves? Did it ever cross his mind that maybe it wasn't right? While seeing them out there in the field or with their kids, did he ever feel remorse? Did he ever think, this just isn't right? Let's come back 200 years to me, and then let's go another 200 years into the future. Maybe my descendants can say the same thing about me. Maybe there's an issue now that we don't see as pressing that those in the future will. I think I have a candidate. Let me take an example of an issue that I struggle with when I bother to think about it. Eating meat. Now this is something I do all the damn time. I love steaks. I love pork. Damn, bacon tastes good. Pork chops taste good. I see the stuff in the store, and I don't think much beyond it being a delicious meal. I only rarely think that this used to be a living and breathing animal. I very rarely think of the life that, say, one of these cows had, standing in some cramped and shitty pen. Its only purpose for existing was to get big enough to get murdered and cut into pieces. I knew a very obnoxious vegan back in graduate school. I'm sure today she's throwing paint on celebrities or planning some prison break rescue at a zoo. I remember her being very fierce in her beliefs. She was passionate. Jesus, did she go about it the wrong way. One morning I had bacon and eggs, and she yelled at me that I was eating murdered pig carcass with a side of chicken abortions. It was so over the top, it did not even faze me. You know what did? One day I was at a restaurant with a friend who I learned at that very moment was a vegetarian, and he calmly told me why. He said he was heading home from college one time in the winter, and he passed a truck hauling chickens or, or turkeys, they were either plucked or the wind had blown their feathers off, he didn't know. But it was below zero, and the wind was howling, and these birds were in the back, miserable. He said he'd be surprised if most weren't dead from the cold already. He said that after that, he had a really, really hard time eating any type of meat. And then he started to think about it some more, and he gave it up. His sincere angst and real concern did far more to make me think than anything that aggressive vegan could have ever done. So my point is, is that there's probably an area in your life that you don't really give deep thought to, but when you're challenged in the right way, it can cause a seismic shift in how you see the world. So let's take religion. Religion is like that for most people. They don't think about the contradictions in the Bible or how it's all really silly and very demeaning at its core. They forget that their holy book sanctions slavery and makes it very clear that women are inferior to men. To them, it's a security blanket, something that makes them feel good. It provides them a community to give them graduation presents, people who are there when a loved one dies, and to buy their kids fundraising candy bars for Little League. Now sure, most know that Noah's Ark falls apart with the slightest scrutiny. So they don't count up the animals and then figure out the size of the boat and do the math. So when they find themselves on YouTube and some atheist says, Hey Christians, stop Jesus is fucking God right up his hole with a big juicy with all the all over your mom with the popes with the Jesus is yeah. Do, do you think that guy is gonna sit back from his computer and say, "Oh my God, he's right. There's no God." Yes. No, he's not going to pay attention to anything you have to say after that. But what if you say, "Hey, look." I no longer believe because blank. And then you show him what you know and you prove that you've thought about it and that you are sincere. I guarantee you that that goes farther. Very rarely will someone change their whole belief system, but if you're lucky, they'll think about it and they'll recognize that there's a serious, thoughtful opposition to the way they think. And maybe next time they start to talk about Noah's Ark being true, Maybe they'll pause and they'll say, well, maybe it's not totally true. Maybe it was a local flood that they exaggerated or something. I don't know. And at that point, 
you've just changed the way they look at it all. Maybe it's a crack in the dam. Maybe the waters won't come rushing out anytime soon. But enough cracks over enough time add up. I know that someday I'm going to have to sit down and figure out my future with eating meat. I know that there can be unimaginable suffering by these animals in order for me to eat burgers and chicken wings. I've already stopped eating veal, and I've already stopped ordering more meat than I can eat. I also know that at best, I'm utilizing cognitive dissonance. And I know at worst, I'm being a hypocrite. Maybe you feel the same way about eating meat, maybe not. Maybe there's another similar issue in your life like this, and you understand what I'm talking about. Even the best of us can be faced with pure logic and undeniable facts, and it's still hard to change a belief system. Sound familiar?